بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم جہان زیب خان اینڈ آئی ویلکم یو آل ٹو اے پی ایس آن لائن لرننگ سسٹم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ آل آف یو ول بی فائن اینڈ ہیلدی اینڈ ول بی انجوائنگ یور رمضان اسٹوڈنٹس یونٹ نمبر فائیو گریویٹیشن ول بی کنٹینیوڈ ان لیکچر نمبر سیون اینڈ ایز یوزول first we'll have a recap in previous lecture you were taught about the force of gravitation which was a force due to which every body of the universe attracts every other body then law of gravitation which says every body in the universe attracts every other body with the force which is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers means if there is a gravitational force between two objects then if the product of the masses is great or higher then the force will also be greater and if the product of the masses is less then the force will also be less if the square of the distance between two objects is more the force will be lesser and if the square of the distance between two objects is lesser the force will be greater then we prove that the law of gravitation is consistent with newton third law of motion because law of gravitation says when two objects attract each other with the force of gravitation then this force is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction and same is the case in Newton's third law of motion that every action has a reaction equal in magnitude but opposite in direction so let's we go ahead today the first topic is about gravitational field and we are talking about the gravitational field of earth the definition says the field around the earth where the particles would experience a gravitational force is called gravitational field it means that ke hamari jo earth hai iske surrounding mein ek specific area aisa hai ke jahan tak agar koi bhi object ya particle maujood ho to wo earth ki taraf se ek gravitational force feel karega jo earth usko apni taraf attract karegi and ye jo region hai ye space hai ये अर्थ की ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड कहलाएगी द थिंग विच इज टू रिमेंबर्ड इज अ ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड एग्जिस्ट ऑल अराउंड द अर्थ इट एग्जिस्ट इन ऑल अराउंड द अर्थ एंड इट्स डायरेक्शन इज ऑलवेज टूवर्ड्स द सेंटर ऑफ द अर्थ द ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड बिकम्स वीकर एंड वीकर एज वी गो फार्दर एंड फार्दर अवे फ्रॉम द अर्थ एंड वॉइस वर्स इट मीन्स दैट इफ वी गो far from the earth then the gravitational field will be weaker and if we come closer to earth if we come near to earth the field will be stronger then students the next topic is also related to gravitational field but we are going to discuss the strength of the field it says that in the gravitational field of the earth the gravitational force per unit mass now students this thing is to be kept in mind the force per unit mass is called the gravitational field strength of the earth means ki agar humne yahan pe ek object rakha hua hai kisi bhi jagah pe field mein aur wo object 1 kg ka hai to earth jitni gravitational force us 1 kg ke object pe apply kar raha hoga that force will be called gravitational field strength and the gravitational field strength is almost equal to the value of gravitational acceleration which is 9.8 or 10 meter per second square but students remember we are talking about the magnitude only not the unit the value of gravitational field strength is 10 its magnitude is its magnitude equals to the magnitude of gravitation acceleration but the unit will be different because we are not dealing with gravitation acceleration we are dealing with gravitational field strength 
so the magnitude is 10 but the unit is Newton per kilogram which is taken from force per unit mass force is measured in new Newton and mass is measured in kilogram fine now students we are going to find the mass of the earth and to find the mass of the earth we have to suppose that we have kept a body on the surface of the earth the mass of that body is written as small m and the mass of the earth is written as capital M with small e students in law of gravitation when we write the masses of two objects we write m1 m2 but here just to differentiate we have written small m and capital M the distance between two objects is written as d in Newton's law of gravitation but here the distance between two objects is written as the radius of the earth why is it so because two objects may jo distance hai is object ka zameen ke center se jo distance hai wo earth ke radius ke equal hai so when we want to find the mass of earth we'll start with newton's law of gravitation and newton's law of gravitation is f equals to gravitational constant the product of masses and the square of the distance product of masses the mass of that body and the mass of earth because the second body is earth and the distance between these two in place of d square we have written r square which is the radius of earth you also know that the force by which earth attracts any body toward its center is called the weight it means here the gravitational force will be written as the weight of that object and weight equals to mg it means we can put this mg in place of this f when we'll write it then the equation becomes in this form if i want to find gravitational acceleration then this m will be brought to the other side of the equation here it's multiplied here it will be divided and will be cancelled by this mass the equation becomes like the gravitational acceleration equals to gravitation constant mass of earth and radius of earth in fact our topic is the mass of earth so it means this mass of earth is to be found out so these two quantities are to be brought to the next side of the equation gravitational constant is being multiplied it will be divided on the other side R square of the radius or distance is being divided it will be multiplied with gravitational acceleration to find the mass of the earth now we get an equation and we are going to put the values the value of gravitation acceleration you already know that is 10 meter per second square the value of gravitational constant you have been taught in the previous lecture that is 6.673 into 10 raise power minus 11 and the value of the radius of earth is 6.4 into 10 raise to the power 6 meter and this you will have to keep in your mind when you will take the square of these two and then divide the numerator with the denominator then after calculation you will come to know that the answer is 6.0 into 10 raise power 24 kilogram and that is the mass of earth so that is the method how to find the mass of earth now students we are going to discuss that what is the variation or change in the value of gravitational acceleration with altitude means if we change the height of an object students up up observe kar sakte ki is topic mein humne object ko exactly surface of the earth pe rakha tha isliye iski height zero thi but in this diagram you can observe that the body is kept at some height it means ke do bodies ke darmiyan jo distance is waqt maujood hai wo radius of earth plus the height or the altitude of that object from earth the thing which is to be remembered is gravitational acceleration 
is always inversely proportional to altitude means if the altitude is increased then the value of gravitational acceleration will be decreased and if the altitude is decreased then the value of gravitational acceleration will be increased altitude is the height of an object or place above the sea level and if the object is exactly at sea level then the value of g will be maximum and if we go up at hills or mountains the value of g will be reduced students in this equation to find the gravitational acceleration we came to know about a formula and in this case we are just adding h with r because in this case the body was exactly on the surface of earth so the distance between the center of earth and body was the radius of earth but in this case the distance is the radius plus height so in this formula just we have to take r plus h square remains same let's we go ahead students let's we answer few questions in the mini exercise first question says does an apple attract the earth toward it yes of course it will because according to law of gravitation every two objects attract each other so if the earth attracts the apple the apple will also be attracting earth toward itself second question says with what force an apple weighing 1 newton attract the earth again newton law of gravitation says when two objects attract each other the magnitude of force will be same so if the weight is 1 newton it means earth is attracting apple with 1 newton force so ultimately the apple will also be attracting earth with 1 newton force third question says does the weight of an apple increase decrease or remain constant when taken to the top of the mountain so students you have to refer this topic we have discussed if an object is taken to some certain height the value of g is reduced and when the value of g is reduced then ultimately the weight will be reduced it means that when the apple is taken to the top of the mountain then altitude will increase the weight will be decreased and finally it's time to give you your assignment or homework students you are supposed to solve related mcqs which are related to today's topic from exercise question number 5.4 to 5.7 and 5.10 to 5.13 the answers of these questions are to be written on your neat notebooks and numerical problems from 5.3 to 5.7 and these are to be solved on your neat notebooks and students remember if you find any difficulty in answering these questions or solving these problems so you need not to worry about it after reopening the school you can consult with your teacher you can get guidance and help and then you can solve this but at least you can try or you should try yourself first so that was all about your lecture thank you very much stay safe and healthy have a good day allah hafiz